video, I'm gonna go over the skills, education, certifications, salaries, and the job outlook for the cybersecurity analyst. Now, the cybersecurity analyst job title is just that. It's just a job title, and it will vary from company to company depending on what they call it. I've seen it called an IT analyst, incident response analyst, security analyst. There's a whole bunch, but they're essentially the same. They're the first line of defense when it comes to monitoring the network and defending it against attacks. Now, despite what people may say, this is an entry level job. Typically it's 24 seven. So if you're willing to do a graveyard shift and you don't really have a family yet and you're just getting started, then it would be a great place to start. I was offered 100K for a graveyard shift for an entry level job. However, I don't want to do graveyard shift so I passed on that. However, if you're new to the workforce and eager to learn, then you have a greater opportunity to land one of those graveyard shifts. And the way you can decipher if it's an entry level job is if you go to those job titles in Glassdoor and you see like one to three years is usually required for entry level jobs. And remember their job description and requirements is their dream candidate. Cybersecurity is such a huge field in high end demand with low competition that you can get your door in the foot without that one to three experience as long as you market yourself properly. And I have a resume course, which I am going to post soon and that will be below in the description if you would like to learn how to make your resume tailored for technical job. And also please comment, like, and subscribe below if you would like to get a job in tech or reskill as this is what all of this channel is about. And now let's get started. What exactly is a cybersecurity analyst? They are the first line of defense and they're usually monitoring the network or responding to incidences and sometimes identifying flaws in the company's security system. However, that's a little bit more advanced. As a beginner, you're basically going to be a cybersecurity help desk in a sense, responding to phishing attacks, intrusion attacks, monitoring the network are some of the main duties. You may assist in the remediation of certain vulnerabilities. You may be doing STIGs if you work in the government. You'll also be providing guidance and training for user awareness. That's a huge thing. You'll probably be doing a lot of paperwork, a lot of research on various types of flaws. You'll be patching some computers. It depends. The role is so varied and it will depend company to company on what your responsibilities will be from day to day as a cybersecurity analyst or a SOC analyst or an IT security analyst. The job titles can go on and on. Now, where can you work as a security analyst? And the answer is you can work anywhere, really. And every major corporation, every government agency is going to need a cybersecurity analyst to monitor their network and respond to various incidences and phishing attacks and vulnerability finds. So it's a, a high in demand job that you can, that is everywhere. You can go overseas and work overseas as a security analyst. So travel is something you're interested in. Tech is a really good field to get into. Now, when it comes to salaries, however, the salary is going to depend on where you're located. For instance, the top five paying cities for security analysts, New York City, Dallas, Texas, Washington DC, Boston, Massachusetts, and Atlanta, Georgia. And a lot of those places have high cost of living such as Washington DC, New York, and Boston. So you're going to want to take that into consideration. However, places like Atlanta, Georgia have really low cost of living, but really high wages or Chicago, which I considered moving to. So you're going to want to take in consideration the cost of living and how much more money you can make along with the pace of life. I wouldn't survive in New York City. However, Chicago or Atlanta, I could survive in. If you really just like to be on the go all of the time and you really like that, that rush, then maybe New York is for you and you can make a killer sum of money. The salaries you can make in these top five cities are Washington DC. You can make around $117,000 average for one to three years of experience. This is not me exaggerating. However, if you want to work in Washington DC, a government 
security clearance is often required. Make sure to look into that. And these are sometimes difficult to get if you have anything in your past or you have drug use or DUI or bad references. It can sometimes be difficult. New York is another city and the average pay is $127,000. But a studio apartment in New York will run you about $2,500. Dallas, Texas is $114,000. And I'm from Texas. If you really enjoy hot weather, this is the state for you and barbecue. Man, their food is very good. And let's see, the next city is Boston, Massachusetts at 106,000. Now, Boston has a lot of competition with tech workers and it also has a lot of Ivy League colleges around. So you may be competing with people with Ivy League educations. Where right now I live in Ohio, there's not that many Ivy League educations here. So there's less competition. Therefore, I can ask for more money. So you have to also take in consideration what the competition is for each of these cities. Now, Atlanta, Georgia has extremely low cost of living and the average salary for a cybersecurity analyst there is $108,000, which is extremely good. How do you become a cybersecurity analyst? And now this is a difficult question because the field is so new that there are many paths to becoming a cybersecurity analyst. Whereas if you just wanted to become an accountant, there's only one path. You get a degree and then you get your CPA and then you become an accountant. Where cybersecurity analysts, you can get a certificate and some experience and get a job. Your network, meeting people, and also how good your resume is. Remember, I have a class link below on Skillshare. It's free, go check that out. It may not be posted now, but it will be soon. Those are five things. And to become a cybersecurity analyst, I'll go over it briefly for certifications. Security Plus CompTIA or a cybersecurity analyst certification from CompTIA would be very beneficial. For your education, now you don't necessarily need a degree and I wouldn't suggest going into debt for a degree Degree, but a degree in a STEM field would be best. Computer science would be really good. Uh, computer science would probably be the best because it's more universal. So you'd be able to change more frequently or even IT information technology, that would also be a good degree to get. I'm not going to go into depth about that because this isn't that type of video, but those are good degrees to get. For experience, you can make your own experience. So for instance, you can make your own projects and post to GitHub and put that on your resume. You can volunteer places and get experience that way. You can do unpaid or paid internships and get paid that way. You can just create your own plan and implement it at your current company even. Or if you're in college, go to like the Dean of Office and ask if there's anything that, that you can do to help them with their technical department. So gaining even system administration and networking skills will be very valuable. Even if it's lower tier work, maybe go to a church and then they, a large church, and they probably have a technical department and they would probably be more than happy to help you gain experience with that. If you're not religious, get involved with your various nonprofit organizations. They always need a helping hand for people. Now, people are, I really don't like networking and so I'm not the best at networking, but I have recently moved to Ohio and now I'm really just trying to get involved with the community because that's really what makes a place. So meetup.com is really good. So they have a lot of technical meetups and they're doing online ones now. So if even if you don't live in the vicinity of the place, you can attend an online event. So you're not really missing out on anything. There are plenty of ways to meet people. I'm not an expert on this topic. Check in in six months. Maybe I'll just create a video on how to network with people. I'm working on it. And then next is your resume needs to be on point. People will disqualify you for your resume as it's a legal document on why they didn't hire you. So you want to make sure your resume is perfect. Remember, perception is often more important than reality. I'm not saying lie. However, reframe your accomplishments to effectively communicate that not only can you do the job, but you'll be the best candidate for the job. So according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, incident response analysts or security analysts, cybersecurity analysts, IT analysts, SOC analysts, this entry level job is going to grow 28% in the next 10 years and the average starting wage is $95,000. Now, 
it's $95,000 because competition is so low that they have to pay you that much to stay. So not a lot of people have entered the field or reskilled to this field, therefore making it the perfect job opportunity. So it's high amount of jobs with low amount of competition, which makes it a lot easier to get a job than if you say become a newspaper writer. So that has high competition with low amount of jobs, making it extremely competitive. And this means you can ask for more money and then after you get one to three years of experience, you can ask for even more money. You can just have tons of money just flowing your way because it's so unknown. And also if you learn cloud along with cybersecurity, then you're set and you have networking. You have maybe took a couple of Python courses some system administration there. You totally have no problem having a six figure job in cybersecurity after two to five years. So, and that is my overview on how to get a job as a cybersecurity analyst. And please like, comment, and subscribe if you have any other information you would like to know about cybersecurity analysts. And thank you for watching, bye.